Hi, and welcome to another art venture. Today, we are going to make fondant, which is basically edible clay. And we are going to do an episode of Nailed It. So, I'm gonna show you how to make the fondant, and let's get started. So, ingredients. You are going to need two pounds of powdered sugar. This is 10 ounces of the mini marshmallows. You are going to need light corn syrup, some vanilla, lemon juice. Oh, go get me the salt. We forgot the salt. You're going to need some salt. And I like to use the Princess Cake and Cookie Emulsion because it adds a good flavor. You can also use like almond or you don't have to use anything at all. You can just use the vanilla and the lemon or you can use lemon extract, honestly. And here's my salt. Now, first things first, you will need for this first part a bowl. Oh, I forgot. Crisco. Don't forget your Crisco. You need your Crisco. Now, you're going to need a bowl and you are going to coat your bowl and your wooden spoon with your Crisco. That will allow you to mix your marshmallows without it getting stuck to the bowl or to the spoon. Now, once you have coated your bowl and you've coated your spoon, you are going to take your marshmallows, you are going to open the bag, you are going to dump your marshmallows in the bowl, and you are going to put in two tablespoons of water. Come on, muscles. What up with that? Muscle. Wow, sadness. It's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, pour those in the bowl. We get the two tablespoons of agua. Marshmallows in. Wait, there's an extra one. Water in. Eat it. You are going to take your marshmallows and you are going to put them in the microwave. You are going to do three times for 40 seconds. You're going to mix them up each time. So, here we go. comes out you take it and you stir what you've got and then you put it back in for another 40 seconds now second time you take it back out we stir it again Starting to get really fluffy. You stir it. Once you stir it, it gets kind of liquidy. And one last time in the microwave for 40 more seconds. Now, third time, we take it out of the microwave. This is when we start adding the other ingredients. Don't mix them, Mom. It's very, very soupy. 
At this point, first ingredient, we add two teaspoons of the corn syrup. After we add the two teaspoons of the corn syrup, we add two teaspoons of the lemon juice right here. Two teaspoons of lemon juice. Then we add salt. We have a half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon. Make sure you have your measurements. Half a teaspoon of salt. Next, we have our the extracts. So we have a, a this one says lemon extract, but I I'm using the princess cake and cookie emulsion. And we have one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon vanilla. And then we have half a teaspoon of princess cake and cookie emulsion. Out because it's I very, did too much. It's very flavorful. Very flavorful. I think I dumped a half a teaspoon in there when I did that. Well, three fourth teaspoons now. So as we mix it, it has a little bit of color from the vanilla and my princess cake and cookie emulsion. The smell of lemon. You can smell the lemon and the princess cake and cookie emulsion. So next, we start to add the powdered sugar. Now, we add it one cup of a time at a time and stir it well. After about five cups of the powdered sugar, you are actually going to get the Crisco and you are going to put it all over your hands because you are going to start the process of mixing it with your hands in the bowl so that you can get all of the sugar mixed in the bowl before you start kneading it which is something you do with clay on the counter so first you're going to mix it in the bowl you got to make sure that you have the crisco on your hands so that it doesn't stick to your hands then you are going to put the crisco on the counter and we're going to put it over here right now mm, you're going to want crisco on the counter so you'll add a little bit more of the powdered sugar in your bowl before you dump the whole concoction onto the counter. Some more of the powdered sugar mixed in here and then I'll let you do a good knead job on the counter. 
Now, when you are kneading, you want to take, you push down and you pull back. You push and you pull back. Now, if you need more of the powdered sugar, you can get more of the powdered sugar. You just push and pull. And this is how you knead dough. This is how you knead clay. This is how you get it to mix. You get it, get all the sugar to mix. You get all of the parts to mix together. You want to knead? Mm. Go knead. And you're good with the sugar. I need to push and pull. Push, there you go. Get it nice and mixed. You want a nice, smooth lump of fondant like clay. Lump of sugary marshmallow clay. Sugary marshmallow clay, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Delicious, delectable, sugary marshmallow clay. Messy, but yummy. I have to clean it up. Now, once you get it good and mixed, we want to take this lovely bit and we want to get it into a ball. So you want to kind of beat it into a ball. Then you're going to need some saran wrap. I'm going to get some saran wrap. Plastic wrap, saran wrap, all that wrap. And you are going to take this ball of lovely marshmallow goodness and you are going to put more Crisco all around it. And then you are going to double wrap it in the plastic wrap. You're going to place it in the plastic wrap. You're going to roll it up one layer. You're going to place it in the plastic wrap. And another layer. Then you're going to get a plastic bag and you're going to put it in a plastic bag and you're going to, if you are able to, let it sit overnight before you start adding the color to your fondant. So you'll put it in the plastic bag, you'll get the air out. And you will let it sit overnight before you add the color. All right, next we will show you how to make things out of it. Hello, and now it's time to decorate. So we take our fondant and we are going to have to put some powdered sugar down so that the fondant does not stick to our counter. So we take the powdered sugar and we put a little layer down. Now, this is where we take a little part because we want to color it. So you decide what color you want. Now you can use 
the color that is the paste, or you can use the liquid color that you get at the grocery store that you just put a few little drops in. Whichever one you decide to use, you do it the same way that you do any kind, which you have to knead it in and mix the color really well. Now I'm going to start with some primary colors, which are what? Primary colors? That's right, red, yellow, and blue. They are the colors that you cannot make by mixing other colors. So if you only have red, yellow, and blue, you can still make other colors. So I take my fondant and I mix it up. Now we want to roll out the fondant so that we can put it on top of the cake, the cupcake, whatever you decide that you're gonna put it on. Again, you are going to need the powdered sugar. You're also going to need the powdered sugar on your rolling device. Take and you roll it over the rolling pin and you lay it on top of the cake like so. You push it down. Then you use a knife or some sort of utensil to cut off the excess. So you want to get it nice and smooth and then you cut off the excess. After you've cut off the excess, then you can begin decorating. Put the excess to the side. You can take and you can use all kinds of different cookie cutters, roll out the fondant, and if you need to make different colors, you only have these, you can use some of your yellow, some of your blue, mix the two together, and what will you get? That's right, green. So if I don't have any green, I just take these two and I mix them together and I get green. So I can roll it out and start decorating and see what beautiful creations you can make. Now as you roll these out, you want to, once you have cut, you want to attach this, but you want to actually use just a little bit of water. The water will kind of act like glue when you put it on the back and that will stick it to your fondant. So whatever you stick, you use the water and it will act like glue to stick it to the fondant. So I can use all kinds of things to make the water. So here I'm going to roll out the green to make the leaf. I will add a little bit of water and 
I will glue it on. And I can add all kinds of decorations. I can make long ropes out of the fondant so that I can make vines. I can do braid the fondant. I can do all kinds of things. I just want you to get creative and create till your heart's desire. I look forward to seeing what you create and show me. And I'm so excited. And I'll see you then. Bye.